What is up Halo fans and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys have been blessed. I have been blessed. All glory to God. But my name is Greg Espinosa and we're going to be going over the new Halo Streets map that can be found in Halo Infinite. Really quick guys, if you're looking forward to Halo Infinite news and gameplay just like this video, consider hitting the subscribe button because I'm going to be dropping information once it comes out and also gameplay once Halo Infinite finally comes out in December. So make sure to hit the like button and show your support and also comment down below what you're looking forward to most in Halo Infinite. So I just dropped a video going over a new map that can be found in Halo Infinite and it's going to be the street map. So in the video they went over some of the small details that you could find in this map going over some of the graphics and things, small details that you can find around while you are playing. So in this video, I want to go over the details that they brought up in this gameplay video. And also I want to break down what to expect while you're playing on this map so you can crush your competitors once Halo Infinite comes out in December. If this sounds interesting guys, let's go ahead and hop into the video. Alright guys, so going into the gameplay footage of this new map, Streets. In this video, we have some of the creators of this map going over some of the details that you can find around this map while you're playing and the intent of what the gameplay is supposed to be. So this map is going to be one of the small or medium maps and it's going to be geared towards 4v4 arena matches in Halo Infinite. So this map is a modern downtown type map with an insane amount of detail. In the video, they go over all the details that you can find while you're playing on this map. So for the layout on this map, this map is asymmetric. So the map is different on both sides. It's not mirrored like you see in most maps. And this game was created with the intent of circular flowing gameplay. So there's gonna be constant movement and there's not gonna be a lot of safe areas where you can camp. So that's gonna create this constant movement of gameplay that I think is gonna be something we could look forward to guys. So this map is gonna be similar to the Plaza map in Halo 5 Guardians. It's that it's going to have an insane amount of detail. Um, this, this map is going to be awesome for your modes like Stronghold and Oddball. Oddball being one of the more competitive modes. So that's something you can look forward to guys if you enjoy playing uh, Stronghold or Oddball. So quickly I want to go over some of the details in this map guys. This map has incredible amounts of detail. I want to point out the arcade in the game. It has an incredible detail. It actually has a Halo Infinite arcade game inside the game, which I think is amazing, guys. You can also find restaurants around the map, as well as a police station that you can see in this shot right here. Um, you can also find some smaller details like vending machines and street signs that I think add to the game itself. And guys, it looks so beautiful. Some more details you can find on the walls are some signs and posters. I have not yet gone through all of these. But if you want, comment down below and I can make a video going through all the small details of this map. But so far, I think the details on this map is so amazing. The graphics are so amazing. It, it seems like the gameplay is really natural and smooth. It's something that I enjoy about Halo Infinite. But comment down below, guys, what you think of this gameplay so far. So another clip I want to point out is when he's running and you can see a small mouse uh, running by across the street. I think it's a small detail that makes the game really immersive. It's not so sort of just standard, it's more like a natural feel and uh, more realistic, guys. And there's also a clip where you could see um, a city in the background, which I think is a pretty cool detail. I don't know, it looks like some type of like factory or I don't know really what it is, an elevator or something. But uh, overall, I think that's a really cool detail. So as far as gameplay, I want to point out that in the middle, the power weapons are going to spawn. So I expect a lot of people to rush the middle, and especially in the initial parts of a match and that's probably going to be a focus point a lot in all your matches because that's where you're going to find like your rocket launchers and uh, more of your bigger powerful weapons. And along the map you're also going to be finding uh, abilities. Um, I know there's a shield on one side and they're going to have a bunch of your more standard uh, middle, I guess, I guess you could call middle grade weapons. So maybe like your saw and stuff like that. But overall, I think the fact that it's a small map and it has a circular flowing gameplay, I think it's going to be a really enjoyable game, especially because they're going to have a bunch of weapons around the map, as well as the power weapons in the middle of the map. So I think it's going to be really competitive and it's going to be a really fun map to play on. So like I said, you can expect a lot of movement on this game. Uh, not a lot of camping due to the small areas and not a lot of places to hide 
So it's going to be a lot of movement. So that's something you're going to have to get used to if you're not used to. I also want to point out that I expect this map to be perfect for grappling gameplay, which is something I'm personally excited for. I think it looks amazing using the grapple. So that's something I'm going to be doing a lot of once this game comes out. But overall, guys, that's what I thought about this map. Comment down below what you thought of this map and what about this gameplay. Comment down below what you're looking forward to the most when Halo Infinite comes out. Guys, like I said, if you're looking forward to more Halo Infinite news and gameplay, make sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be dropping some more videos just like this one. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. But until next time, I hope to see you in the next video. Y'all stay blessed. Peace out.